All right, guys. Got us a little coon and a tea steak. On to the next. All right, guys. Got a good one here in the fence. On to the next. All right, guys. Just took that raccoon out of there. You seen how it was all blowed up? Right there is where they come around the corner through the fence. That step stick has been there from day one for many years. I don't know why it don't move or they don't chew on it. I always place my trap on this side of it. They step right in it. On to the next. All right, guys. Got another one. On to the next. All right, guys. Got us another one. On to the next. All right, guys, wallered down in this deep hole. These things just sat empty for three or four days. Finally picked up a good one. On to the next. All right, guys, got another one. We're getting a few. Threw away three. Walk up here, check the next one. guys nothing up here we're uh trying some more of dale's new test bait i ain't gonna give the name of this one you'll just have to watch to find out on to the next all right guys i'm gonna show you i've kind of switched things up on these huts i've switched to the bridger, bridger number two square draw uh seems to be working a lot better they come in put the trap at a little bit of an angle i've been having them by both front legs or the head can you see that oil slick right there i have not baited this today i just pulled in with the boat just the weight of the boat has stirred that up i i only bait when i catch and sometimes i don't even have to bait because there's still enough lure soaked into that stuff and let me tell you, this stuff, this bat raster to Dale's, we have been catching a lot of muskrats on it. Every muskrat we have caught, other than what's in a colony trap, has came from Dale's stuff. Uh, very impressed with it. It lasts. Uh, like I said, if I had caught a rat here, I wouldn't have had to rebate that. I would just stirred that grass up, threw a little bit on top of it, been throwing a little bit of shelled corn, which something ate my shelled corn. It was probably a bird or something. I'm going to just throw a little pile of shelled corn on this and be on my way. On to the next. All right, guys. Pulled up here. Splashed a little water on it. See that oil slick? On to the next. All right, guys. I just freshened this one up look at that oil slick it's just a little squirt the wind's going to carry this any muskrat by the by the end of the day it's going to be trailed clear over to that big piece of timber on to the next all right guys i thought this was pretty cool i was getting ready to pull away look at that oil slick Like I said, I ain't pulled away yet. And that oil slick's already 20 feet away from this. And this is just a homemade hut. We just picked some grass up, put on there, bait, lure, on to the next. All right, guys. Once again, all I did was move some grass. They mudded this trap in, just freshened it up. Haven't squirted a drop of bait. Look at that oil slick. Already heading 10 foot past the boat. On to the next. All right, guys. There it is. Check out the oil slick. We just set a platform out here. I found out if you put a little mud on there, they go a little better. 
We have a 150 over there still set. On to the next. All right, guys, we set this colony trap yesterday. Four nice rats. I think you could only fit one more in that trap. On to the next. All right, guys, check this out. There's six, seven. That is a packed colony trap right there. I don't even know if I'll be able to get them doors open. On to the next. Well, as I said. All right, guys, we got one here in a fish stick. On to the next. All right, guys, got us another one. On to the next. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back in the fur shed. Don't mind my fingers in the way. There's some of the fur we've been putting up. The raccoons don't look too bad. Skunks look good. This is one of our buddy's skunks. That is a big skunk right there. But I just scraped these yesterday. That borax really helps pull that moisture out. But, man, our muskrat traps are still plugging away. 10, 12 a day. That one colony trap was cool. Had seven rats in it. We ended up with seven coon that we, seven raccoons that skinnable. I'm going to start skinning a few possums. we got four possums. Pretty decent fur. Uh, tomorrow, if it ain't raining, Dale and I is going to plant. Dale's going to get on the river, and I'm going to set a bunch more muskrat traps. Uh, I don't know how many more days we'll be on that. Starting to wrap things up. Here soon, we got to start wrapping things up and get ready to head south right after Thanksgiving. I'd like to thank you all for watching. It's been fun. On to the next.